going to next a Lego station. This time I have a <coughs> beer from Holden's Brewery. Wood Saturn Pale Ale, pure black country. Uh, 4.5 percent ABV. Cup black with the brewery's logo. Oh, so small print. Uh, right. Let's see what's in ingredients. Water, malted barley, sugar, wheat and hops. Right. What they say. Tales of lost brewing notes are the stuff of myths and legend in brewing industry. However, while traveling through the archives for our century celebrations, last year a fourth generation Holden chanced upon a tatty book languishing at the bottom of the filling cabinet. To our great excitement we found page after page of brew notes, peach notes, hops, grain molds, fermentating vessel calculations, all from the 1910s and 20s. A brewer's dream. Our master brewing team have been hard at work recruiting, recreating this uh, pigeon brew from our long last brewing notes. We hope you enjoy it as much as we have enjoyed recreating it. A classic classic old English pale ale brewed using the finest English pale and crystal malts giving both biscuit and caramel notes on the nose followed by a burst of traditional fuggles and golden hops leading to lingering Moorish fresh dry finish. Okay, okay. When I've checked the website, it says that it's seasonal brew. So it's not all year around uh, beer. I think it's it's available in spring. I think. Right, so let's pull it out and check how it looks. And it looks quite nice. It looks like pale ale. Um, golden, maybe pale straw going to golden. Uh, clear. Actually, there are some small bits floating inside, but very tiny, so it's not perfectly filtered. Head um, not perfect. There are small and medium bubbles, but big ones are developing quite qu quickly, and actually they taking open, and I think the head will disappear very quickly. Doesn't stick nicely to the glass. Right, aroma. Maltiness, some biscuit notes, a little bit of um, hoppy uh, herbal notes. I would say a little bit of citrusy notes as well. But definitely the sweetness in aroma, a little bit. Okay, let's have a try. Nice full body. Bitterness is straight away and quite high quite grapefruity with herbal elements yeah definitely a little bit earthy 
So bitterness actually overtook all the flavors. <coughs> so I have to take another sip. Quite high carbonation. It's drier than, than I expected. Maybe because of uh, bitterness. It's quite long. Mm. The texture. In texture, you you can you can feel the influence of, of wheat, but um, not so much. Biscuity notes, yes, but everything is quite dry. Right, so there's no not so much sweetness in it. And like I said, bitterness takes over and dominate this beer. Quite gassy. I said the high carbonation. Well, it's quite a uh, nice pale ale. Quite bitter. Uh, you can have a nice session with this. It's 4.5, but still, it's very drinkable. But um, you no know, bitterness is quite high. So if someone doesn't like high bitterness, I would be put off. Uh, but if someone likes it, well, it would be great. You know. Hmm. Lovely. So there's not so much of biscuity, uh, you know, maltiness in it. There are some accents, but everything is dominated by it. Actually, grapefruity, a little bit herbal and uh, earthy bitterness, but mostly grapefruity. Quite nice. There are some tiny lemon accents in it. Uh, just keep this beer very refreshing and uh, drinkable. I like it. Uh, from the notes on the back, I was expecting a little bit, you know, fuller, a little bit sweeter, you know, payday than this one. This one, actually, it's closer to, to IPA than uh, anything else. I would say, yeah, because th there's not so not so much of you know uh, caramelly notes or anything else, right? So bitterness on the, on the first. So really good IPA, quite bitter. Uh, you know, it's not so strong, so it can be session. So, you know, session IPA, 4.5, why not? Uh, I know it's on pale ale, but level of bitterness, I think, uh, would promote this beer to, to this category, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this beer. Please like it. Please subscribe my channel. Remember about bell button because it will remind you about every new video on the channel. And cheers.